Peter Block in Orlando for the AHA annual meeting for On the Scene, and with me is Ken Margulies from University of Pennsylvania. We were talking about, or he has talked about and presented the FIGHT trial, a heart failure trial, uh, which has some interesting outcomes. I'm not going to take anything away from what Ken is about to say, so Ken, tell me about the FIGHT trial. The FIGHT trial is a study within the heart failure network from the NHLBI. It was designed to assess whether a diabetes drug that is effective and widely used for diabetes, an injectable GLP-1 agonist called loraglutide, has benefits for the sake of improving heart failure outcomes. We know that failing hearts have some insulin resistance and this drug is capable of reducing insulin resistance and so we wanted to see whether that effect would be observed and translate into clinical benefit. Okay, so let me just ask a question because in fact this drug is used for diabetics routinely, isn't it? Correct. And it does lower blood sugar, we know that, and yes. it does help in other ways. So what does it do for heart failure? What did you find out? Okay, so what we found was uh, this is a 300 patient study randomized to placebo and, and loraglutide, a six month follow up period, and it was specifically focusing on fairly advanced patients with heart failure, patients with fairly advanced heart failure. And by that I mean they had been hospitalized at the time of entry into the stu study, they had, most of them had had previous hospitalizations for heart failure, they had an average NT pro BNP of 3,800 even after they'd been compensated and an injection fraction of 26 percent. So pretty sick group of folks but who had been just stabilized and then started on the drug and titrated up over a month and then followed for six months. And so what we found was it, although we believed that it would be helpful, that turns out it was neutral, that there was no improvement and heart failure outcomes. And this is a small phase two study, so the heart failure outcome was a composite of death, heart failure hospitalization, and NT pro BNP trend. And with that composite endpoint, we didn't really move the needle one way or the other. Well, a little disappointing as far as heart failure is concerned, but you also found some other things. Yes. And uh, it, I think we at least ought to touch on that. I'm yes. not sure we can say anything positive about that, so I'm going to leave this to you for the clinicians out there who are treating their patients with this drug. What else do you know? Okay, so we did find that this diabetes drug, when applied to patients with advanced heart failure, did what diabetes drugs are supposed to do. They lowered blood sugar, lo lowered glycosylated hemoglobin. Um, there was also a signal of a weight loss that was statistically significant in the loraglutide treated diabetics that was not observed in the placebo treated diabetics. And again, that's a feature of this class of drugs uh, and, and could be a desirable uh, endpoint. Uh, and so there was a on the other hand, some signal of perhaps some worsened renal function in some patients, both on creatinine based on the safety outcome work and cystatin C, another biomarker of renal dysfunction. So I think on balance for diabetics with fairly advanced heart failure, the jury's out about whether this is the class of drugs to use. It certainly isn't the class of drugs to use for the sake of improving their heart failure, but it still might be for the sake of their diabetes or weight loss objectives. So questions still out there. Are you going to try to answer it by digging into these data a little bit more? I mean, I know you haven't had much time to look at the data and get really granular. I think for these advanced heart failure patients, that's exactly what we'll do. We'll try to get much more detailed, do analyses of patients who went one way or the other, and try to understand their stories a little better, as we can do in a small trial. In addition, I want to put a commercial out there for the LEADER trial. It's a very large industry-sponsored trial that results should be reported at next year's American Diabetes Association meeting in June 20. 16. Um, that's a 9,000 patient study focusing on lots of people with cardiovascular comorbidities, including 1,500 patients with heart failure, although I'm sure there are earlier phases of heart failure than this trial. So that'll speak to the broader swath of heart failure patients from a safety point of view. So a negative trial, but some positive maybe things coming out of it. Lots of questions still to be answered. Thank you, Ken. Thank you.